Uh, next thing I'm noticing is a manufacturer number uh, 036 We're looking at like three tons looks like amps at 40 amps uh, here I am uh, checking the capacitor uh, just checking it visual inspection and putting a meter on it and checking it out uh, more visual inspection of components seeing what things look like just kind of scoping it out seeing where I'm at and hey guys how you doing uh, OCRefrigeration.com here hey um, this is a uh, suction service valve you know how they leak uh, around the o-ring they leak uh, you know the suction service valves and leak and the liquid you know service valves leak wondered if any of you guys have ever uh, I just removed this the circlip I mean I think I've been doing this been doing this 35 years and I've never removed one of these things um, I've just cut them out and just put in the T you know an access T a big old 7 8 you know access T you know of course that's the bitching way to go you know and then you got you know no possibility of a leak ever again but you know this was a 1992 unit uh, we're just leaking like a sieve I mean I put like 12 pounds of pressure in it and it's just leaking like a sieve out through the suction. You know, I could put my thumb over the top of it and, you know, just, whoosh, you know, so really bad leak or so. Couldn't just, you know, gas and go it, you know. Um, so just wondered if you guys have ever uh, done this where you just uh, removed the service, you know, remove the, remove the circlip and then throw a new O-ring on them. And had any good good luck with that you know um, that's what I'm gonna try with this one Cause this o-ring is flat Ola so uh, hopefully tomorrow morning um, I'll be able to get an o-ring and just wonder where you guys if you guys are doing this you know where are you getting the o-rings um, you know what are the good o-rings to get where you get them do the supply houses stock them um, uh, so anyways, just, uh, wondered if you guys are doing this because, you know, I was gonna, I'm like, you know, I wonder if I could do this, you know, so I popped it out and everything came out and, you know, so hopefully it works out good tomorrow. Um, so, uh, the liquid one is really small. I, it was dark by the time I, hey, this was a late service call. Um, so anyways, uh, but. I thought I'd just, uh, since this iPhone, man, this thing's got some, uh, what do you call it, uh, got some zoom vision to this thing, this thing, uh, you can see what's what, so, it's pretty cool, as you can see, his O-ring is not sticking out at all, so, you can see that it's totally flat to Ola. So, yeah, I'll be stoked. I mean, if I can just drop a new O-ring on that and slide that baby in, and that'd be really cool. All right, so uh, let me know uh, if you got any input. All right, check out that seal, too. That, uh, man, that thing's all, hmm. I'll have to take more of these things out and check them out. Um, all right, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully, like the video. Okay, world, how you doing? Uh, doing a little repair on a Temp Star, um, 1992. Check that baby out. L92 manufacture date. Uh, so. Yeah, look that up. And, oh. You guys have probably seen a few of these around. I think it's an old 9 sear, the old uh, ultra high efficiency 9000. Yeah, anyway, so. Uh, 
do a little repair on this. Put about 12 pounds of pressure nitrogen in it. And uh, she was leaking like a sieve out of the suction out of here. So I pulled out the stem and I was, went to a hardware store this morning was gonna get a uh, this O-ring right here. Uh, I was gonna put this O-ring in it. Let me see. But uh, I didn't want to chance it. So you know how you just uh, take that, you take the circlip out, you know, out of here, pull it out. It has the O-ring on it. Not an O-ring, like a flat O-ring. This is a round O-ring, so that's why I didn't want to chance it. I just said, yeah, fuck it, I'm just gonna weld it. You know, I want it to be bulletproof. I want it to be tight ass, you know, so. I yanked the, uh, yanked the stem out of it, cleaned it all up, wire brushed it up, and uh, silver solder, 56%, and uh, I think she'd be pretty damn tight. 100 and, uh, 150, 150 pound pressure test, rock solid, so good enough for an old 1992-er. Check the capacitor, the capacitor's good. Look at the line solenoid, that's interesting. Um, a little three tonner, but uh, just trying to get her going for a real estate sale. So, uh, we're selling the house, just getting it set up. I thought I'd show you guys how you uh, how you can repair a uh, suction service valve without like taking everything all apart and everything. Just uh, pull the o ring off of it, clean it up, and uh, flux it up. And you can, Fill it up with some 56% and should be good to go. Pull the shader out, make sure you pull out the shader before you weld. You know. Uh, and you guys, if any of you guys do this, uh, let me know. All right, in the comments. Okay, thanks. Uh, click like on the video, please, and uh, subscribe. Thanks, bye. Hey guys. Man, it's only been on the vacuum about 15 minutes or something. Maybe not even that. Down to 600 microns already. Yeah, she be that nitrogen I put in there must have really helped dry her out. So that's cool. 594 microns. Yeah. And uh, these are the pliers I use to take out that uh, circlip thing. It's kind of cheese ball. The uh, Allen things in there are kind of cheese ball. Need to get a different pair. Uh, yeah, these are Troy Chinas. They look pretty cheese ball. Need to get a good snap on pair. Or uh, maybe Craftsman or something. I don't know. 550. Good little micron gauge. If you guys are looking for a micron gauge, this uh, JB digital vacuum gauge. This thing kicks ass. I've had this thing around for at least 2008. I keep it in a box. Battery lasts about a year. Um, I keep it, I get these boxes at CVS. They're like a girl's makeup case or something. Uh, but I just put my micron gauge in these boxes. I think they're like seven bucks or something. You got that case? 2004. The micron gauge probably went in there in 2004. So that thing's like, it's 2016 right now. It's like 12 years old, still kicking booty. So, uh, but anyways, yeah, it's a good thing to keep uh, all kinds of stuff in here. Keep a couple rags in there to pad the uh, micron gauge, throw it in there. Keeps the micron gauge safe. You can put your meters or whatever. I got a bunch of these little cases. Like I said, they were cheap. They're like four bucks, seven bucks, something like that. Or you know, two or three for ten bucks or something a long time ago. CVS. Alright. Tool bag. You guys have seen my tool bag video on the Are You an Imperial Man video. Anyways, uh, so just waiting for this thing to pull down a bit more. Uh, but, you know, if I wanted to, shit, down to 500 microns. You charge up 400. <laughs> 494 I just saw yeah already so all right uh, thanks for watching
Okay, she's getting down there. 475 microns. And this is a little little spiel on the new 22B. It's good stuff. I like it. Uh, works good for air conditioning. And uh, there's a new jug. Bought for the job. And um, we got uh, pulling down 200 microns. And we are at 165 microns, I think it was. And we're ready to charge it up. Okay, a uh, new 22B uh, sticker is installed. <laughs> and when you buy a new jug of new 22B, you get uh, about a half a dozen stickers or more. So you don't even have to buy uh, new stickers. So. And uh, this is the picture of the back of my truck. I uh, work out of a service truck. Somebody was asking me this week um, in the comments, you know, he was wondering, hey, I've never seen your truck. And I guess he must have missed it in a few of the videos. My truck is in a few of the videos. Uh, but this is it. I uh, work out of a service truck. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching and click like on the video. Thanks. Bye.